Today, we're going to be looking at some comparison hard facts about Elementor Hosting, Hostinger, Bluehost, and SiteGround. This comparison will be focused on performance, security, support, pricing, features, and their integration with Elementor. All right, so one other thing we need to keep in mind here when you were comparing Elementor Hosting with uh, the other three contenders is that Elementor Hosting is a cloud hosting provider, not a shared hosting provider. The others are shared hosting providers, which means that Elementor Hosting is much more competitive when it comes to performance, scalability, especially reliability, security and automatic updates and maintenance compared to the other three hosting or uh, SiteGround and Bluehost. So let's get into it. All right. First, we're going to be focusing on performance because we know that performance is everything these days in any field in any level. All right. So we're going to start first with Elementor hosting because we're comparing mostly Elementor hosting with the other three hosting providers. OK, and we want to see the differences between them. So first, Elementor hosting, as I said, OK, so their server technology is powered by Google Cloud C2 servers and Cloudflare Enterprise CDN. It is specifically designed for Elementor optimization with auto scaling for traffic surges, of course, and to ensure stability. So their TTFB time to first byte, basically until when the, the website loads, is a median global TTFB of 146 milliseconds, which is pretty good. Their uptime is 99.9% guaranteed. Yeah. For their CDN integration, they use Cloudflare Enterprise CDN, 310 plus edge locations for faster content delivery, especially optimized for media heavy websites. So if you have a big blog, if you use Elementor hosting, this will be a breeze. On to SiteGround. So SiteGround uses as technology Google Cloud infrastructure with super cache. So it's dynamic caching, mem cache, static caching, yeah. And their uptime is also 99.9%, .9%, again, also guaranteed with proprietary server technology. As CDN, they use standard Cloudflare CDN included for free, and it is less powerful than the Elementor hosting one because Elementor is using the enterprise Cloudflare CDN. Now, Hostinger uses a server technology, a light speed web servers for dynamic content efficiency. Their uptime is also 99.9%, though, their performance may dip under heavy traffic, especially for the lower tire plans. Their caching is done with light speed cache, but advanced resources are reserved, of course, for the higher tire plans. As for Bluehost, their server technology is SSD based servers for speed, but doesn't specialize in Elementor optimizations. Their uptime, they claim that is 99.9% .9 uptime, but some real world reports suggest slight downtime spikes here. So if you have experience with, with Bluehost, you know that that is a fact. <laughs> their CDN integration is done with Cloudflare and is available, but not included by default in all plans. All right, let's talk about security. So we're going to look at protecting against cyber threats and Elementor hosting uses enterprise grade security with premium SSL certificates and Cloudflare enterprise DDoS protection. This includes real time monitoring WAF. WAF means um, WAF is a web application firewall, is a security system that monitors, filters, and protects your web application by analyzing incoming traffic and blocking any harmful requests. And that would be SQL injections, DDoS attacks, malware uploads, brute force attacks. So all the attacks that you could think of coming from outside to break into your website and just take over <laughs> and of course automated backups and and all these are making elemental hosting quite competitive now siteground let's see what they provide in terms of security okay so siteground uses let's encrypt ssl which is included they use ai powered anti-bot systems and and regularly update firewall for protection their ddos protection is basic done with standard cloudflare 
As for Hostinger, they are also using free SSL and basic Cloudflare DDoS protection. Of course, advanced options are available, but only on the higher tier plan. As for Bluehost, they do have included free SSL certificates on all plans and over and offer code guard backups. Their custom WAF protects against common vulnerabilities, but DDoS protection isn't as robust as Elementor Hosting's Cloudflare Enterprise. All right, now let's look at the ease of use of this hosting providers okay so of course we're going to start with elementor hosting they use a unified platform combining hosting and elementor tools which is absolutely ideal if you're using elementor plugin as well to build websites they have 24 7 support across live chat whatsapp email and with fast response times i can say from my own experience that i while I was testing Elementor hosting in the past and recently that the response was very fast and it went from one agent to the other very fast if the one agent did not have the answer. So it was very helpful. As for SiteGround, they do have a custom site tools control panel and 24-7 support as well, which is highly rated. This is done via chat, email, and phone. Hostinger, they have a custom age panel dashboard designed for beginners, 24-7 live chat support, but slower response times for complex issues. And I have to say that that is true because I have used and I'm still using Hostinger for some websites. It is true if the, the issue is more complex, they will take more time, but they always come with an answer. As for Bluehost, they use a cPanel as well and a custom WordPress dashboard for beginners, which I think that it needs a complete overhaul. It's so outdated and so the UX is not good. They also offer 24 seven phone and live chat support, but resolution times support, but slower response times, but resolution times can take time. And I have to say that the people behind the chat are usually not good and you have to go through different agents to get your issue resolved from my experience i'm curious about yours let me know in the comments below what your experience was with any of these hosting providers would be interesting to see <laughs> all right so let's look at pricing now and the features that all these um, hosting providers offer for their plans okay let's start with elementor hosting and here we have um Prices starting at $2.99 per month um, and it includes the core builder, which is the free version. That means that you have 32 widgets included, 24-7 support for hosting, um, of course. And as you can see, all these features are included in the light plan and if you go to the popular plan you will see that you have more features included and then if you go all the way to the business plan you have included advanced solo pro builder uh, which is the elementor plugin which includes 118 widgets which means all the widgets in elementor pro as well as you get uh, e-commerce features and so so much more now let's look at SiteGround. as you can see their startup plan starts at 2.99 per month and it has all this included you can also go and compare all the features as well and uh, have a more in-depth look here if you want if we're looking at hostinger you can see that you can launch your website for 249 per month so let's go and have a look at uh, their plans yeah and these are their premium business the cloud startup all right so prices start at 249 and you have all this included as well i'm not gonna go over all this because it's a lot now for bluehost check their plans they also have uh, an offering of 295 per month and they have all this included but they are all very competitive and it depends very much on what you're looking to get from your hosting provider right now let's look at how easy it is to integrate elementor the plugin with all the other hosting providers so of course elementor hosting is highly optimized for that because it's the same company and elementor 
is pre-installed and optimized for Elementor with automated updates, tailored server performance, of course. For SiteGround, it is fully compatible, but not optimized. Users must install Elementor themselves and rely on general WordPress tools like Supercacher. With Hostinger, it is fully compatible, but it lacks Elementor specific optimization. Bluehost as well is compatible with Elementor, offering a one-click WordPress install and WooCommerce integration. However, there is no specific Elementor optimization. Now let's look at backup staging and developer tools. This is a little bit more, I wouldn't say necessarily advanced, but it's a, something that we don't think too much about. We'll, although we should, especially about backups and staging. Staging for me is very important as well as backups. So this I'm focusing very much on that. But developer tools is a little bit more advanced if you want to do more with your website than web design. But let's get into all this. So Elementor Hosting offers daily backups, staging environments, and tools like SFTP, PHP My Admin, and site cloning for advanced workflows. As for SiteGround, uh, they do offer daily backups and staging tools for higher tier plans. Developer tools include Git, SFTP, and PHP My Admin. Hosting, on the other hand, has limited backups on basic plans, no native staging uh, environment for the lower tier plans. As for Bluehost, they do have, have automatic backups with code guard, but on the higher tier plans. Staging environments are available for WordPress websites. And now let's look at some additional features, some freebies, some extras from all these hosting providers. And of course, let's start with Elementor Hosting. And they offer free premium SSL, free domain for the first year, and Cloudflare Enterprise CDN is included. SiteGround, they offer free Let's Encrypt SSL and standard Cloudflare player CDN, no free domain included. Hostinger offers free domain for the higher tier plans, free SSL and Cloudflare CDN. And Bluehost offers free domain for the first year, free SSL and standard Cloudflare CDN integration. So in conclusion, which hosting provider you should choose, right? So let's look at it like this. Elementor Hosting, I believe that is for uh, is best for agencies and web creators that are heavily using Elementor. They offer unmatched integration and performance for Elementor based websites. SiteGround is excellent for WordPress users who want solid performance and advanced tools but do not require specific Elementor optimizations. Hostinger is best for budget conscious users building simple websites. And Bluehost is ideal for beginners, is a a very entry level hosting that is best for beginners of course it is less competitive for advanced elementor performance or developer specific tools i hope that this makes it clear what hosting provider you should use and let me know in the comments below what you think what you've used, what experience you've had with any of these hosting providers. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.